Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on a new foundation. And it is from Patrick Star. So I hope you guys enjoy today's content. If you do, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, because all that really helps out my YouTube algorithm and that really helps me to create more contents. So this is the new Patrick Star Dew Foundation. It has a cream foundation and a setting powder. I have it in the color light number one. And I also bought his new brush. And this is dual ended brush. One end is for powder uh, formula. The other end is for cream formula. Okay, so this packaging is so pretty. You can see my camera. <laughs> and this is how it looks like on the inside. I'm going to open the brush. This is how the brush looks like. The brush looks very, very pretty. It feels so, so soft. For sunscreen today, I'm going to use my PCA Skin Sunscreen. This sunscreen has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It is a tinted sunscreen and it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's made for all skin types. So this sunscreen is not too oily for my oily skin, but yet it's definitely not drying. And this is how it looks like. It is a very sheer tint sunscreen. I love that this compact has a big mirror. Okay. I hope that the color is for my skin tone. Just going to swatch it. This brush is blending out the product really, really well. And no streaks. This one is very, very creamy. The foundation is medium coverage and the finish should be natural. And it looks very natural on my skin. Doesn't feel cakey at all. This formula is very powdery. This brush is so, so soft. And the size of this brush, it makes it so easy to kind of powder the under eye areas here. I'm going to use the same end to bronze up my face. And this is the West Mediterranean bronzer. The bronzer is very forgiving. It's definitely beautiful. It's very natural looking. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of blush. And the blush I have here, it is from Our Class. And this is in the color Devoted. I have been enjoying my new stick eyeshadow stick so much. The formula is very pigmented. And it's so easy to blend. And 
and it doesn't dry down fast so I can take my time to really blend out the product and I'm going to add one more color on top Today I'm going to use my Tarte Highlight and this is like a pen This formula is also very creamy and long lasting and the highlights is very subtle For lips, I'm going to use my MD Solar Sciences Sunscreen. This one is SPF 30 and it's a pink color. It is a chemical sunscreen, so I like to put it over my um, physical sunscreen. But it's also very hydrating as well. So this is the finished look. So far, I like that the formula is so creamy and it feels so lightweight on my skin and my skin looks very very natural so I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day and see how it does It has been 4 hours and this is how the foundation looks on my skin There is a little bit of oil on my T-zone area here but the foundation still looks really really good My skin looks very very silky, very very flawless I'm just going to blot some of the oil off on my T-zone area here with my Fenty blotting paper That's just a little bit oil, it's not that bad I'm going to continue wearing this foundation for the rest of the day and see how it does it has been 12 hours and this is how my skin looks like Now my skin did not get any more oily after I removed the oil with my blotting paper And so I really really like how this uh, foundation looks on my skin right now And overall I absolutely love this foundation I like the finish of it, my face is very glowy Although I do feel like it is a little bit oily for oily skin But that's okay, I don't mind because I have extremely oily skin I don't mind blotting the oil with my blotting paper or even powder some of my Fenty blotting powder um, Because I just love I love the finish of this foundation and also the foundation feels very very lightweight on my skin but yet has really good coverage I also love this packaging it looks a little bit bulky but you do get two products in here and also this really really big mirror which I absolutely love I can see my entire face and it's really easy to apply the foundation and even applying makeup with this mirror so I love this mirror I love that there is this plastic cover to protect the foundation from the powder and also the color of this foundation matches my skin tone really really well the foundation color is not too yellow and definitely not too light for my skin tone so I'm glad I picked light number one moving on to this brush this brush here is very fluffy it's a little bit dense but not too too dense but there wasn't any streaks when I blend out the foundation earlier and this end of the brush is very very soft as well and it's very fluffy and it's actually a good size to apply powder I was able to fit the powder underneath my eye areas here and around my nose overall this is a really good brush and in comparison to my ambient foundation this is my recent purchase as well this one has more coverage so it's a little bit thicker than the Patrick Star foundation my skin is also very glowy very dewy with this foundation but this foundation is a little bit more oily than the Patrick Star foundation and in comparison to my other recent foundation purchase is my Nunis tinted blur stick now this formula is a little bit thinner and lighter in consistency than the Patrick Star foundation but I love this foundation because it is very very lightweight and it is very creamy and it blends really well and I especially use this over my sunscreens to kind of blur out my skin 
And I love this packaging, it's so convenient to carry this foundation around. If you're looking to buy a new foundation, definitely check out the Patrick Star first because it comes with a cream foundation and also the setting powder. And so it's very convenient to carry this package around. And if you want something easy, lightweight, definitely check out the Nudie's Tinted Blur Stick. I love this foundation. I use this almost every single day on top of my sunscreens. Let me know your thoughts on these foundations. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Up, subscribe to my channel and like always I will see you on the next time bye